okay as we were walking out to leave um steve wanted to show us this one last house this is a house that's actually made by clayton it's a promotional house you can't get no upgrades on it you can't get nothing um and you just buy it as is and uh let's go in and see what it is now this is a 1776 square foot house so let's see what clayton has to offer versus the other brands now this one pete you got about eight foot ceilings in it uh-huh so you notice the ceilings aren't quite as yeah. high as some of the other ones we looked at i noticed the trim's a little cheaper trim is a little bit less expensive this yeah. isn't this isn't as high this end. is not a high-end home yeah. it's it's a mid-level home to me to me if i was a salesman this is the kind of house that most people would be looking for that most of your average joe people the average customer right. who looks at this looks at my fleetwood product some of them venture into the Karsten depending uh -huh. on their budget. So what's what's so cool about this house? I noticed I like this uh, living area over here. Well, the big thing about separate. it, this one's actually called The View. Uh -huh. The reason it's called The View is because if you look around, you've got windows everywhere you look. Yeah. So no matter where you're at, you're going to have views in this house. That's true. Now, it is a three-bedroom, huh. two-and-a-half bath home that is 1,750 square foot. 1,750 square feet? It's got some good size to it. Your kitchen, your kitchen island countertop here is a marble countertop. So that is marble. That is marble. Awesome. Now the rest of the countertops of the house are going to be the laminate. And that's material. standard in this one, huh? That's standard in this one. But you got a $12,000 discount on it, bringing it down to $112,135. Plus, you had a multi two different promotions that are running at the same time. With this one, you can get a free air conditioner on it. Now, what they do on this one, the really cool thing about this is, of course, you've got that coffee bar area over here. Uh -huh. You've got a TV so you can watch right, TV while right, you cook. Right. But you do oh, have a pantry. Oh, cool, 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 cool. We saw one of those in a Palm Harbor home. Yeah. They, they, there's a you lot know, of it's basically there. like you said, Steve. You can only do so much with one of these houses. And a lot of these models and names and, and manufacturers, they kind of all intertwine, and they almost, almost look the same when you look at all of them. Now, this is actually an energy smart home. So really? it's designed to save you money month over month on your. Are you talking about the insulation? Well, or? I'm talking a couple of things actually. You've got a minimum with this one. Uh, well, minimum on an on a energy smart home is an R11 insulation, which is above what the standard is. This one's got R19 insulation in the walls. It's this one's done with sealed ductwork. It's done hmm. with um, LED lighting. And you're saying the standard houses don't come with that stuff? Not all. No, not all houses do. So and see, that's what I was trying to tell people out there is they need to, if you're going to get upgrades, you need to think about energy upgrades exactly. before you do inside energy upgrades. Upgrade. Yes. Because the, the energy now, upgrades Now, do you tell always... people about the energy upgrades? Oh, before, absolutely. Or do you just let them pick what they want? No, no. I, I always try to make sure my customers are saving money, getting a house that's yeah. going to work for them. Because, see, I didn't know nothing about the sealed duct work. Ah, well, this is the so first energy smart home we were in. Oh, you know, I take that back. The Karstens are actually energy smart homes as well. They are? Mm-hmm. All the Karstens. All the Karstens. Huh. And these are two? These are your two secondary. Well, this one over here and the one behind you is your secondary bedrooms. And these bedrooms are not it's that nice. big, but then on the other hand, they're not that small either. 13 by 10, 13 by Yeah, it can be about 13 by 10, 13 by 11. Yeah, and here's a bath. That's a really nice guest bath. Is this the secondary? It's the guest this bath. Is the secondary. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen these. This is pretty nice. Yeah, you said Karsten is a, the mother of Clayton? Well, Karsten and Clayton are sister companies. I think I saw this in one of the Karsten houses on... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. They're starting to do a lot more of these. This is actually a nice... Uh, yeah, I remember seeing this. Well, it's a bathroom that's designed for a larger family because it's got that toilet and tub area in the back. So one right. kid could be taking a shower. Uh -huh. The other ones can be up front getting ready for the bus in the morning. So as you're walking towards your master bedroom, to your right right there, Minnie, that's actually your utility room. Oh my god, I thought it was a bathroom. No. Oh, that's, that's the utility room? That's the utility room. It's got a, got a but, butler's pantry to it. Actually, this Clayton home doesn't look bad. No, it's really not. Clayton does a good quality product. Yeah. What about that trim, Steve? Is that well, press board or what's going on? That's a press board trim right there. It is. Yep. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Press board trim. Now, that doesn't mean you can't get a home like this. And, and upgrade we could have it. it. Well, normally you can't, you can't upgrade get it in this one because this is a promotional one. But, but we could always take that trim down build something for you that you like a little bit better. Look at this huh. bathroom. Oh yeah. Man. Look, look at that. that shower. Yeah. That is the shower. Oh, it's a walk-in shower. I no. want that shower. That's the kind of shower many wants. That's I her, want that shower. That's her dream shower. There you go. No that doors. My dream What's going on, Steve? We're looking at... Yeah, I had a, a customer's little kid that was holding on to that a little too hard. And Let's see, that's what I'm talking about, cheap. Look at that, dude. It's not as... It, again, I won't take that away from... It's stapled from you. on there. It is a... The, man, the uh, Karsten homes and the Bonavillas are better built homes. No, no okay. doubt about it. Well, I'm glad but you said that because that's what this is all about. Good homes versus inexpensive, well, cheaper, great. Well, it's grade. all in your budget too, you know. Correct. Now this that's one here. That's an awesome tub. Yeah, that's a nice. 
Now this house here, you said it goes for approximately one seventeen. The list price on it is one twenty four right now with the current promotion. Mm -hmm. We got it down uh, one twelve. Now this is not a modular home. Correct. This is a manufacturer. Look at my dog, Steve. <laughs> look at him. He's a cute he's, guy. No, look at him. He's looking right at me and he's he's panting real hard. You know what that means? What does that mean? We got to go, bro. All right, man. Thank you very good much, buddy. buddy. <laughs> I appreciate all your... No, I know you'd like to be on camera talking because I got a real good microphone here. You could pick the traffic <laughs> up outside. Yep. But you know what? It's time to roll, bro. Well, Pete, it's a pleasure. Okay, we'll see you later, right, buddy. See you then. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Bye. All right, so now we have actually looked at the high end, medium end, and low end of the houses it's all like Steve said it's in your budget it's a situation that says you know this is how much money I got what can I get what can I do and what can you do for me mister sales guy named Steve take it easy this is Pete my friend Pete your friend Pete and hopefully this video set has helped you out more than it's helped me because that's what my friend Pete's here for is to help you Alright, so um, we were in Grand Junction, Colorado. We saw a lot of mobile homes over there. We saw several different brands, right? Actually, they're not mobile homes. Okay, modulars, manufactured, well, they're, they're permanent actually. homes, whatever you want to call them. But um, on our way back to Dallas, Texas, we actually came through Santa Fe. No, we're not in Santa Fe. We're, we're in, in Albuquerque. Albuquerque. And we are right now, we're actually at the factory where they build Karsten slash Champion Homes. So the homes that we are going to go in now are Karsten, Karsten Homes. homes uh, we're going to walk through a few of these. We're going to check them out. They actually have 20 models here in Albuquerque. Um, how many we can go in, I don't know. Okay, the sales guy just pulled up. We're going to go in there and check them out if we get to go in the factory. We're taking you with us to check it out and see what's going on. Of course, we got this guy here, so I don't know if they're going to let us in the factory with him because we can't leave him in the car. Um, it would be too hot, so that's probably the guy we talked to on the phone right there. Let's get in there and let's check it out and see what we got over here at the Karsten factory in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay, what is this one here? This is a three bedroom, two bath model. And he said this is really big inside. He said it was 2,100 square feet, right? Something like that. Let's go check it out. Okay, this is still Karsten Homes. Um, these are the Cadillacs of mobile homes. Wow. Look at that, look at the big ceilings. Mm -hmm. I mean, you walk into these things and they're humongous. Of course this one's oh wow look at this i like this one god hold on a minute look at the master bedroom on that that's like a whole section of a house there wow look at the size of that closet we don't even have enough clothes to fill the, fill the closet. closet man this bathroom look at this bedroom man jeez this place is humongous look at this bathroom oh my god Jeez. This is like half the house. Look at that shower. This is like half the house. Now he said this shower here is 3800 bucks. Yeah. Upgrade. I don't know. This house is pretty nice, man. I'd probably go for this one too. I don't really like the layout. I don't like the kitchen. I don't like the right kitchen. Here. This okay. is what I don't like about the kitchen. No window. I just don't like it. Okay. Gosh, look at this laundry room. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Axe will get a bath right there. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Nine foot ceilings throughout. Yeah. The craftsmanship is really. Yeah. This is a Karsten. I mean, this is top of the line. Yeah. Well, this is uh, $10,000 more. That's 
That's okay, the there you go. What is this model called? Do we even know? It's, it's just a number. It's the HD 36 307 Which means it's 30 foot wide by 70 foot long. And it's 2200 square feet, okay. Homes direct. Got it. Alright, so this is a three bedroom, two bath model as well. Um, it's a little bit smaller, so I'm thinking it's about 1500 square foot, but it's still a double wide and it kind of has the look of a house on the front. Let's go check this one out. And this one has a nice open feeling to it. Um, I like that kitchen sink over there. Wow. Now this house here I like. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's smaller, but look at here. They turned one of the bedrooms into an office. That's pretty cool. And the bedrooms are actually pretty good size. I mean, it's nice that you can see them with the furniture in them. Yeah. And they're all nine foot ceilings. Yeah. And then you got a nice second bathroom over here. Look. Hmm. It's a little bit smaller. I mean, you know, if I was going to get a smaller one, this would be nice. $1,400. I mean, it's pretty nice for $1,400. Well, it's only fourteen hundred, baby. So if I want to take a bath, I have no privacy. Yeah, you do, cause you shut that bedroom door. You know, what do you want for fourteen hundred square feet? And let's go see how much this is. I bet it's under. A, I bet it's around seventy-eight thousand dollars. I don't like this. Well, I was close. It's even cheaper. It's seventy-six thousand. It's got the two things we don't want. Right off the bedroom and open fucking kitchen. Okay, um, we looked at the house. She saw what it is. Good price, 1,500 square feet. You can't go wrong. It's 1,400 square feet. 1,400 square feet. I think it's a nice house, um, but that's the situation you have when you're married. Okay, here's another small model. Uh, it's a three bedroom, two bath. Let's go in and look at this one. Um, I don't like this one to be honest with you. We're gonna walk in. As you can see, you walk in and it's just one big room with a kitchen, no hallways, no nothing, just doors straight off the main room. It goes into the two little small bedrooms. You can see how small that is. And then of course you got the bathroom right off the living room and kitchen, which I don't like. Kind of rude and inconsiderate. And then of course you got your master bedroom, small but big enough to sleep and live in. And then you got a small master bath, which is actually a pretty good size. I'm really shocked that the bathroom is this big on the master. Base price on this one was 71,000. And this particular model with everything in is 75, so. Um, the square footage on this one is 1,168. So this one's even smaller. So here's the situation. Uh, the 1,400 square foot was, what was that, 76,000. So for 5,000 more dollars, you can get the extra footage and bigger house. And when you're spending that much money, why not? What's this model here? This one looks pretty big. Is this a single? Is it a single? This one is? Let's go inside there and just look at it. I'm just curious. Can you grab Axel for me? I wanted to look at it too. Okay. So we're going to go into this one here. This is actually a single wide, but look how tall it is. It's got all these windows up there. And uh, we're just going to go in there and kind of look around. See what it looks like inside. See what it looks like. I don't even know what model this is, but there's a lot of people out there looking for singles. Wow, this is actually pretty nice for a single job. Look at this. Huh. I could probably live in this one if we had to. You know, really makes it look big with those windows up on top. How's it looking there? Nice little bedroom. Is that the master? Or? Um, um, I don't think so, no. Huh. I think it's 
it's just a guest bath. Man, I can live in this. But I mean, look at the quality for a single wide. I mean, even in the in the single wide, the quality in their single wide is as good as the double and triples. Yeah, I like all the built-ins. Yeah. This is really nice. Look at this. Wow, look how it wraps around. You don't even know a kitchen's there. God, look how big it is in here. It's not your uh, down, straight down. It's the not your mobile home park uh, trailer trash special, that's for sure. Man, this is pretty nice, baby. Huh? Washer and dryer right there. Wow. This is the master. This is like a deluxe model two bedroom. <laughs> Man, this is pretty nice for a single wide. So this is a Karsten single wide, which is actually pretty nice. I mean, look at the view right here as we're looking into the kitchen. Um, it's not just a straight shot like, I know. like the, everyone you've ever seen in your whole life. I can tell you this, for a single wide, this is the nicest one I've ever seen in my life. So for a single wide, I'm going to tell you, I'm actually shocked. You know, look at the price. Let's see what the price is. Look at the price on this, $55,000 for a single wide. I'm going to tell you, you get that mono slope on this thing and it makes the house look 10 times bigger, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I really... Hey, check this out. Let me show you something else. Come here. This one here is 1,178 square feet. That little yellow one that I was just in is the same square footage. And it cost, and that one cost 72000 This one's fifty five dollars for the base. And that one was 83000 This one's 64000 For a single wide, this is just really incredible. It, it's not your, it's not what you think the trailer house is. You know what I think really makes it stand out more than the rest is that optional lean-to roof here. Yeah. It's I would really live nice. in this one. It's really nice. Wouldn't you? Yep. Okay, let's go check another one out. Maybe we should, uh... Think about one of these. I'm serious. Yeah, let's put this one on our list. Put it on your list. Go ahead. For two people, this is a nice house, Minnie. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's check out a couple more. Let's go. Okay, we were so impressed with the single wide over there. Um, we're going to go in this one. This one here looks like it might be a fancy single wide. And see what this one looks like. All right, so this is another Karsten single wide. This is not a double wide. Let me get that. This is not a double wide. This is actually, wow, look at this. This is a single wide trailer, Manny. You're joking me, right? Wow, I'm so freaking impressed. This actually looks like a house. This looks like a house in here. I'm thinking we might look at one of these. I'm dead serious, look at this. Wow. I mean, for a two people person and a little dog. This bedroom is awful small, but it's but It doesn't matter. Nothing. We don't need it for nothing except for guests. The kitchen's, look at the bathroom, man. It's a nice size. Let's go down here and check this end out. So this is actually a single wide. We are not in a double wide. This is another single wide. And I'm gonna tell you, this thing is pretty awesome. Look how big the kitchen is. How much was that one we were just in? I don't remember. Look at the, it was 55 for the base. Look at this one. 54,000 base price. This one's 62 with all the upgrades. Now, I think the problem with these, they can't make them IRC. It has to be a double wide. They can't make a mobile home an IRC home, a single wide. It has to be double wide or bigger if I remember right. Um. So a single wide. You cannot make IRC. Now, what IRC is, is if you permanently mount it on the ground like it, a real it, house. It, it's, yeah. IRC means it is built to code, to code in the Wherever state. you live. Where you're going to And that, if you get a house like we're going to get, you cannot buy one of these. But as far as a single wide, this thing is really awesome. It's really Okay. So we saw some single wides, and you see the difference in them. Geez, this is just... It's not your run-of-the-mill, what it used to be, where you go in, you walk into one room, and then it's a hallway, and you got a yeah. bedroom, bedroom, you know. But then on the other hand, we are talking cars in here, so... Man, this is really nice. I'm impressed. Yeah. Let's go look at that porch model. 
Do you see what size this thing is? Do you really want to go in there? Well, we already got it on. We might as well go check it out and show people what it is. This is actually called a porch model. It's a one bedroom, one bath, and it's too small for us, but we're going to let you see what it looks like in a, por a small porch model, if that's what you're looking for. All right, so you can see you get this nice little porch on it. Looks really good. Still a Karsten home. Let's go inside and see what we got. And basically, just like it says, one bedroom, one bath. This would be basically for one person, two at the most. And it's just a nice little... Look how big the kitchen is in this thing, geez. Huh. You got a nice little living area here, not too big, but cozy. Um, you got a breakfast bar, you got the wraparound kitchen, and then, of course, what is it, one bath? Yep. Yeah. Small bathroom with a shower. Just your basic one bedroom joint. Very so, nice it's very, very small, but... Ceilings. Still got the nine foot ceilings. Crown molding. Yeah, look at the shelves up on top of the cabinets. I like that. Mm -hmm. huh. And look at the price on it. This is a really nice model. $40,000. With all the upgrades on this one, it's $50,000. So I'm thinking the nine foot ceiling is an uh, option. Well, that's the one better model, so we looked at it. I think we need to be looking at the ones. We looked at a lot of models here. Now, if I was going to get a one bedroom one bath i would get this model due to the fact that it's got a porch on it and it looks like a if house if i was single this would be the place for me this would be a great place for a single person that didn't plan on you know getting married but uh once again this is a single wide and it can't go irc so not for us okay we are actually in a three bedroom model now this is open living but i want to show you something we've already walked in here um as we turn around you're watching many go down the hallway of this place so it makes it look like a real house where it's all separated off and then you also in this model we got the uh, wrap around um, breakfast bar right here and what makes this one cool is that when you walk into the front door you don't see the kitchen because you got this wall that separates the kitchen from the living area and to me that's more personalized instead of having it all open where you can see everything right when you walk in the front door. So we got a uh, guest bath here, but then when you come into one of the bedrooms, didn't you? This one has its own private bathroom, so this is actually a three bath model. Let's go look at that uh, utility room. Before we go over there, look at the price on this one. It's really not that bad for a three bedroom, three bath. Uh, 106,000 base, 115,000 with all the upgrades. Um, this is the K. 3070A and it's 2100 square feet so I think that's actually a pretty good price for a house like this what are you thinking huh? I like it all right so we come in here and um, the utility room isn't that big in this one so you got a small utility room so I like this layout because you walk in here it gives you a feel of a hall area then you come over to the left, your living area, but when you walk in, you don't see the kitchen. I like it too. That's and then it wraps saying. around there. I like it much, much better than the first one that we looked and at. And it looks like a hallway over there, like a big house. So, the now write this one down. I did. Okay. Okay, we just walked into an other three bedroom, two bath model. Now, this one has a little bit different design. You walk in, you got your living area, and then bam, you see the dining area. And the kitchen's semi-hidden over here, and that's what I like. Uh, it gives it the open feeling, but then on the other hand, it's really not open. Um, something about this model that you might want to consider is it's got skylights in it. And I'm sure that's an option on any of them. But if you notice, all the houses that we've been in have nine-foot ceilings. Now look down here right past the kitchen where Minnie's at. Uh, it gives it the hall effect. All right, now Minnie noticed something in here that she didn't like. She said when she came into the master bedroom, which is actually pretty nice size, you can see that. But when you come around the corner here, she claims that this is a big waste of space having a closet that humongous um, and big. I don't have that many clothes. She said she would make that into a little retreat center more than a closet and then build the closet somewhere else. 
So it's a nice little house. Uh, I love. This is what I like about this house. Look, all the windows. Yeah. It's a very bright house. It it has a lot of light that comes in, and to me, that's the most important thing is not having a dark house. To me, this is one of the most important things is having a. Uh, window right where the sink is especially if you have a garbage disposal because you always get that garbage disposal smell and when you don't have a window it basically makes your whole house smell like that am I right yep so what's this model what, what are we looking at here this is actually a good price look at that base model 104 but we come over here with all the upgrades that we've been looking at it's 115 um, this is a RC 3068 and this is actually 2,000 square feet, Manny. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a three or four bedroom, two and a half bath. This is the triple wide. It's got the front 2, porch. 2,520 square feet. 2,520 square feet. Let's go ahead and look at it. Um, and here we go. So with first impression, you can see this one actually looks like a real authentic bonafide. Look at the hallway here. If you walk in the door, you got a little entryway and look at all the rooms that makes this look like a real house. Look at the porch right here on this living space. This is beautiful. This is awesome. It's got coffered ceilings in it. It's got the family room right here that's built onto the dining room, goes into the kitchen. This is an awesome house. You ain't seen nothing yet. Come on, keep flowing. Got a hallway down there that goes somewhere. We're going to look at this house because this is like a real house. Yeah, it's a little frosty though. Yeah. Wow. Look at the kitchen in here. Jeez. Got the three big windows. And it wraps around. Look at here. It wraps around into this room, which came from the entryway, which is your living room area. Yeah, this is an awesome house. And then you got a walk-in pantry. It's not that big, but it's pretty big. Oh, it's pretty big. Oh, that's pretty big. So we walk down this hallway. This is a triple wide once again. Look at the master bath. You're not going to believe how big that is. Look at this. Jesus. Look at the ceiling in this thing. This is a master bedroom in the triple wide. And look at the retreat. You got a retreat that goes straight into the front room. That's right. Look at that. Wow. I wouldn't change nothing in this house. I'd take it just like it is. Look, this is the upgraded counters. Corian. Or Corian yeah, top It's man-made Corian. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Let's go look oh, at the wow. small bedroom. Look, it's, at, it's got the big, and then it's even got a smaller closet. This is the man's closet. And this is the woman's closet. Big, small. Like it. Look right here how big this house. Second and third bedrooms are. Yeah, and then for two twin beds, or you could put a double or a queen in here. Nice, a nice. Big open up closet. Okay, I want everybody to look at this. Base price 155. All the upgrades you're looking at 163, and I'm going to be honest with you. When we were over at Clayton and we were looking at the enchantment, that was 161 and it was a double wide. So here it is. This is the triple wide. 100. This the one you're looking at right now is $163,000. Beautiful home. Look how big this place is. <sighs> Unbelievable. And let me tell you what, well worth the money. Well worth the money here.